What a happy little meeting. What's a meeting without some good donuts? Oh, wait, is that a monster tearing out the flesh of my fellow human being? Yeah, it's one of them episodes. <laughs> Greetings. Welcome back to Netflix Entertainment. I'm Metatron Uriel, and you're watching my coverage of the TV show Ghosted in this episode 4, Lockdown. Yeah. So, our crew is going to have a nice little business meeting because that's what normal businesses do, right? Have business meetings and congregate and gossip and whatnot. And it's just also fun and let's make everything seem normal. Oh wait, guys doing an autopsy on a mysterious creature. Oh, oh no. Creature's alive and tearing off the flesh of Bob. Most generic name in cinematic history, Bob. Yeah. So, our crew have to deal with the Predator in this episode. And apparently, with said Predator on loose, it activates B13, which is a complete, excuse me, other lockdown of the facilities. Any creature that's in there will be incinerated, which means any human in there will be incinerated too. Not good. Not, not, not good. So, yeah, the crew is <laughs> crew's having to go after this creature, which is not good. Not good whatsoever, because everyone's pretty befuddled, and nobody knows what's going on, and nobody knows what this creature's about, and Boss lady is, you know, trying to check up with the water cooler guy, and everyone's thinking that Max is going to be like Leroy, and it's just, it's, yeah, it's just something. And, <laughs> funny thing about it is, everybody uses the same battle cry for Bob! Yeah, <laughs> who's Bob? Hey, was he anybody until, they didn't even know the name of the receptionist when the creature came out the receptionist. I mean, honest to God. How many of us really know our coworkers' names? I mean, I don't know all my coworkers' names. I'm not gonna lie, but yeah. Um, so apparently, Leroy is the gossip hound, and as he's talking to O Chick, whose name escapes me. Yeah, apparently Max and our coworker. Yeah, apparently they're uh, apparently having a. Uh, a nice little setup here where they're getting to know each other. Mm, Annie. Yeah, sorry. Annie. Her name's Annie. My bad. Um, apparently Annie and Max are having a nice little back and forth kind of thing. Annie's backing off because she has a boyfriend. And Max is not engaging because he has a wife. And When did this happen? I must have missed that in between the screaming and the monster trying to rip each other, rip people's faces off. But yeah, Leroy apparently is the gossip hound. He just loves him some juicy gossip and he even missed that. So yeah, and then Barry, Barry's, his more concern is more about how Max is able to keep up with Leroy because Leroy is such a badass. Well, apparently Max is trying to copy Leroy in some way by want to go all commando and he later finds out that uh... hey uh... let's not uh... shoot the creature because it will cause the creature to spawn and make little worm like creatures that just no shape or form is like the creature but yet they said it was like the creature mm, does it mutate? does it metamorphosis? anyway i guess there's no point in trying to find loopholes in the story now considering we're already four episodes in so, yeah, Max goes all commando, tries to take on said creature, ends up shooting Leroy. Well, Leroy, Max, Annie, and Barry all come up with this crazy idea. Apparently the creature's after water, which would not be surprising if it didn't look like it came out of the lagoon. Yeah, I mean, honestly, if you look at this creature, it looks like a giant fish with legs. Yet they can't figure out that maybe he likes water. Freaky, right? But they decide they're gonna trap it into a room and try to nuke it. Some microwaves. Barbecue us a fish. 
how do they escape the fish from detecting moisture from our guys? Baby powder. It's also soft. Yeah, baby powder. Saves the day. Yeah, baby powder. Yeah, I remember <laughs> baby powder. Yeah, that's just, just cake that shit on. Let's go. Let's do this. What saved you? Baby powder. I don't even know any names of any baby powder, but it, it saved the day. It's like go it's like talcum powder didn't work no it's, it's got to be baby powder yeah. so they get it and I love it because the timer center going off you think it's about ready to nuke they throw they 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 kill the creature microwave it, it explodes guts everywhere it was glorious well apparently the timer detects still that there's another little creature running around they grab it after they find it because they try to strangle Bob with, over some donuts Probably able to take gluten. <laughs> they take the boss lady takes the creature, throws it in the microwave, and then turns the microwave on. First of all, why are you setting the timer? Okay, we're gonna randomly set the timer for what time? Uh, okay. So apparently they they had to set the timer. I don't know if it was because it had to build up the energy or what, but it just like, nah. Like, we're having this back and forth, like, timer over here, timer over there. People. Learn the program, microwave, that's all I gotta say. I was, I was confused and baffled, and I'm pretty sure you're confused watching this, going, what is he talking about? But, yeah. They defeated the creature by microwaving it. Cliche, I know, right? But, hey, makes an interesting episode, because we learned some things. We learned that, apparently, Annie's boyfriend is a complete and utter douchebag, and he just has douchebag written all over his face and both bright marker prints, but hey, if her boy mask can hit, go for it, dude. I mean, she's a cutie. I'd take her. I'm just saying. That's the boy. Anyway. So that's going to do it right for me. Just, eh. It's going to do it right for me. Um, tell what you think of this episode. Are you for nuking monsters, or are you this for it? Is that a word? What's making a word? Anyway, uh, leave a comment down below if you are all for it. If you're all against it, I don't care. No, I'm just kidding. But um, give me a big thumbs up at the end of this video. Stay tuned at the end of this video because I have more videos for you to watch and suffer through. Yay! <laughs> but thank you for watching my video. My name is Ben Trinerell, and you're watching Netflix Entertainment. To all you daydreamers and creators out there, keep them head in the clouds. Peace!